Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am Andy, and if you saw yesterday, then you saw me make this happen. Um, basically, I did a first impressions of the Juvia's Place concealer and the foundation. The foundation I'd used before, but I really had never used the concealer before. So that's why I called it a first impressions, because I was really kind of seeing, like, one, how the concealer worked and how they worked together. So this is what I created. I said it yesterday, I had a very good response to it, I'm very, very impressed with it. I did realize after we finished filming that I forgot to put a face primer on, even though I knew which face primer I wanted to use, and I thought about it beforehand, and then I sat down to do my makeup, and I just totally forgot. So there's no primer on this puppy, so I don't know how it would work with a primer, but I'm assuming it's probably going to be just as good. Um, hopefully it stays on, I'll just set it really well at the end of the episode, so it'll be fine, it'll be fine. But now that my rambling about that is done, um, I do want to go ahead and move into a second first impressions. And this is a really big palette making waves on the in the beauty culture right now. It is, of course, the Jeffree Star Morphe palette that just released a couple days ago. I picked it up as soon as it was available at Ulta um, and it came like a day or two ago. And I was like, we got to film this fast because I want to see how it works. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've never bought anything from Jeffree Star before. Um, I have heard nothing but great stuff about his brand. I just have not ever made the um, the decision to purchase anything for him, but I do really, really enjoy Murphy, Murphy, enjoy Morphe, Morphe as a brand. So I decided that now would be a good chance to kind of see his products, see their products combined. Um, and just on initial response, this palette is just so beautiful just absolutely I mean I hope you guys can see that and enjoy it I know Nikki got some really pretty still shots of it but like there's just it's I think a 39 38 or 39 dollar palette so it's really not expensive considering how many colors you're getting here um it's a 30 color palette so that's an absolute ton and it's got a wide variety of neutrals bright colors shimmers mattes and I just I really was absolutely blown away when I opened it. So I'm very excited to dig into it. Um, I mentioned yesterday in the video that I think I was going to, or I thought I was going to create a, um, a green look just because there's some really, really beautiful green shades in this one. I'm sure you guys can see these two, a nice light green, a nice vibrant green. Then they've got this one, which is kind of like a mustardy color with like a green tint to it. And then this really pretty gold color here is almost like, it's like a loose glitter that's been pressed. So I think those all were going to make it into today's eye look, but I kind of always just uh, adjust as we start digging into it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the palette itself. I'm going to go in first to start with that shade, what's the tea, that's that mustardy green color that I mentioned. And I will say just upon initial reaction, there is a quite a bit of fallout. Um, it is what it is as long as, I mean, the pigment, it's picking up really well on my eye, so I'm not going to complain too much about it, but I'm just not a huge fan of fallout, so when I see it, I'm kind of like, man, that's, that's disappointing, but, oh, but it's so pretty, and it's really applying very nicely. I'm just doing my typical pat motion on the outsides of my eye, and it's actually a little bit more of a, like an orangey, like a burnt orange color than I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be a little bit more of like a green tint to it, but there's not. So that's kind of interesting. Now I'm going to take the really, really bright green color, the shade Nate, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my outer corners with that one. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Honest Truth, which is like a kind of a peachy pink color, and I'm going to do that right above this orange color to kind of blend it into my brow line. Uh, so far, I'm actually very, very impressed with how well these colors are blending together. I shouldn't be surprised because Jeffree Star is known for having really quality makeup that just is absolutely beautiful and does a great job with these type of things like blending and application and then I actually am a huge fan of Morphe. Um, I have a lot of their palettes because I think that they are just phenomenal brands. I really really like them so it shouldn't surprise me that they do so well as a collaboration but I am very impressed so far with what's happening on my face. So except for that damn fallout. The fallout is I'm not gonna lie the fallout is pretty noticeable but um, I'm gonna go in with Wake and Bake which is the lighter green and I'm going to go just over that dark green shade. That's kind of like a blending shade. Cool. 
All right, now I'm gonna go on my lower lash line. I'm going to take the shade Drive Through, which is that kind of dark yellowy green glitter shade, and I'm gonna go on my under eye. I don't normally do glitters on my under eye lash, but I just think that that's, oh, it is. It's, I really like the way that looks. Okay, so before we do the uh, concealer and then add the glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and do a brow highlight, and I'm gonna use the shade um, Welcome, which is a very, very white shimmer shade. I think it's gonna work nicely. They have a really pretty green shimmer shade in this one too. It's like a, it's called Glam Rapids and it's very, very light. I could do that, but that would just be, honestly, oh wow, that's like, oh, that's hyper pigmented. That's really pretty. Um, I probably would only do that kind of thing under my uh, brow bone if it were like St. Patrick's Day or something. It was like a reason that I was doing green, not just I wanted to have a green eye look. Okay, so now that the basics are done, really liking it so far, by the way. It's like very, um, it's colorful, but it's very subdued. And I'm very, I'm a big fan of that, like where I have color, but it's not like everybody's like, oh, wow, that's, 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 that's a bold choice. Um, so I'm very, very happy with it. Now, I know I could definitely do bold looks with this palette. That's not the issue at all. It's just, I like the fact that I can create something that is still very neutral, um, but still have it make a statement. So um, now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm going to clean up the um, inner corner of my eyes and then I'm going to put glitter on top of it and add mascara and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, so. Now, uh, using the same brush that I used for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Millions, which is that, like I said, it looks like a loose powder, I mean a loose glitter, but it's pressed. Um, I want to see how this plays. I think these are very dangerous in terms of, um, not dangerous, like they're going to kill you, but dangerous in terms of like whether or not they're actually going to do what they're supposed to do, so. And, all right underwhelmed underwhelmed all right i'm going i'm going to readjust i'm going to try a different brush and see if it's maybe the brush mm. Mm. all right so honestly what i'm going to say for this one is this would be a good one if you have color and you're trying to put just like a splash of glitter on top of it um just to make it even i'm going to do a little bit of that on the other side too so that they kind of play it off the same way, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna readjust and use a different glitter shade for these um, inner corners because it just is not, it's not doing what I was hoping it would, which is fine. Like I said, the those loose kind of powders are just, they're tricky. And so I don't, I was hoping for a lot, but like I wasn't super expecting a lot. So, um, so then I'll go in with Glam Rapids. So we'll do that instead. That was that light green glitter shade that I talked about. We'll go in with that one and we'll see how this looks. And actually the Glam Rapids on top of just a little bit of that like flaky gold glitter is actually really, really pretty. I'm, I'm actually a huge fan of how that looks. So not exactly what I was hoping for, but definitely like salvageable and not even salvageable in like, a, oh, I hate it way. It's salvageable in like, a, it's still really, really pretty way. It just wasn't exactly what I was planning originally. Now to finish off, I'm just gonna do like a quick blend. I'm gonna use 1985, which is like a really nice soft peach color. And I'm just gonna go from the out corner in little circles inside. All right. Okay, so this is what the look looks like. Before we do the mascara, I know mascara changes everything drastically, but overall I'm a big fan of it. Um, I really am ha very happy with how these colors turn out. They're very, very pretty. Okay, so this is what it looks like finished product. I like it. I'm a fan. I'm glad I got it. I really was like, I don't know. 
know why I was kind of hesitant to pick it up, um, but I know I love Morphe, and I was like, you know what, it's a really pretty palette. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to test it out. And I'm glad I did because it really is very, very pretty. The eye look I've created is beautiful. And honestly, I feel like I could make probably 35 different eye looks using different colors and have a totally different color scheme um, and be happy with all of them. So this is one of those palettes where you could bring, this is your only palette that you bring with you on vacation or something and you could find a look for every occasion. So overall, really, really big fan of it. I'm very happy with how today's makeup turned out and I really, really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, as always, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that, I'm sorry, first of all, subscribe. That's the first part. Subscribe and then hit the notification bell. So that way you um, are notified every time we post a new video. Um, we are on our way to our 100 sub giveaway. We've already um, done a video showing what we're giving away for it. And as soon as we hit 100 subscribers, we'll go ahead and announce the official giveaway and the rules. Um, but we're really working to get towards that. So if you guys could, please encourage your friends to also subscribe. That way we hit that mark a little bit quicker and we can give you guys some awesome stuff. So as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly, but with a dark twist.